Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Florida lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tackle at the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. That's what I do. Close the fight. Set. Waiting. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Second and nine. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Rose falling back and finds his man. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. He's at the 30 for the 20. Tackle made right around the 12 yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. We've played one quarter. No score here. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Mike 12. Knocked out of bounds around the nine yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Ball inside the 10 yard line. It's second down. around the one yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here we go. Touchdown Falcons. Tacks on the extra point. So a 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear you apart. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it looks 
like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Second down and 12. Ball in the 23. He's on the run. And he's level at the 23. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's to the 40. And he shoved out of bounds at the 48-yard line. He was able to get to that second level, and once he was there, he had room to run. And he was pretty tough to stop. I thought he was going to go all the way. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Strike to the receiver. And they push him out at the 43 yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it 31. So we're looking at another third down here. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. He makes it to the 42 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, Ball start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, Still it's bound to happen occasionally. It's now fourth and five following the penalty. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt, but he'll bring it out to the 20. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From their own 19-yard line, second down, Air Force, up seven points. Let's go! Green 19, hot! Green 19! Hot! Zips it to the back. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. We played a half of football here. The Falcons with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling you know you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out and, and that's what we're seeing today that's it for us here in the studio what are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on yeah i'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors we'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now time for the second half with brad and kirk Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Gathered in at the six. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Kirk, this defensive lineman has made a statement with his play tonight. Well, this guy seems to just be the spark plug for this defense. They seem to go when they play depending on the vibe and energy that he brings. And today, boy, he is bringing it. And I'll tell you, Brad, I think he's just so big and athletic. He's just a nightmare for this offensive line. They just cannot do a very good job of sustaining blocks against him. If you want to point to certain individuals as reasons why they're winning, he'd be a good start. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. From their own 34 yard line. Second down. Here we go. Three, nine, five. Has some daylight. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. That makes it first and ten. Makes it to the 37. From the 37 yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 18-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 18. Three down, three down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Let's go! Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That's good for a of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. Nice run there. Just inside the five. It's second down. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. We're even at seven in this one. Florida to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27. A 
I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. Gaining three yards. So at the end of the third quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Just under two minutes in the game. Here we go. Red, 68. And down he goes. Right around the 28-yard line. Loss of two. That'll make it 39. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. He's scrambling. He's tackled. That's the 48. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've got pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. A little over a minute in the game. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first.
make the stop around the 18-yard line. That was also four yards. That makes it second and 14. From the 18-yard line, second down. Runs it left for a decent game. Before he can get back to the original line of scrimmage. That brings us fourth and eleven. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. It's up. And it sails through the uprights. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Here we go. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the three. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. Saves the score. He gets it up, and it is good. Dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and ten. Ball on the 25. And he might want it all here and does. That makes it second and ten. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 12. It's first and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Touchdown, Florida! So they draw first blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. He splits the uprights with the extra point. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. At the 22. He 
He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of one on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. It's final, a close one to the very end. Florida, 17, Air Force, 10. And the Air Force Falcons. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.